let me again narrate to you one of the earliest khutbahs of the Prophet because now I want today to give you the full because you know these seven ayat which we have read you will find in that khutbah the same seven ayat in a different style the Prophet when he was given the command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَأَنزِرْ عَشِيرَتَكَ الْأَقْرَبِينَ O oh, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you warn your close relatives. Then he gave the order, instruction to Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala, because you know he was living with him. And so to say he was, you know, managing the affairs. So he said, prepare a feast. Call all the Banu Hashim. Banu Hashim was the clan of the Quraysh to which Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam himself belonged. He was Hashim. All the Banu Hashim were gathered together for a feast. Food was offered and then the Prophet stood up before them to convey to them the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But because the, that the enemy of Allah, Abu Lahab, and the enemy of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was also present, he started shouting and hooting and he didn't let Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam speak there. So the attempt, you know, that so to say went in vain. He couldn't address. But after a few days he again said, again prepare a feast, he again called. Now there is a lesson for us. Not to be daunted, you know, by one attempt. If, if you fail, no harm. Try and try again. Try and try again. You have to do it. It's your duty. If you are unsuccessful in one attempt or second attempt or third attempt, try it again. The Prophet again tried. Again, you know, the food was offered. People took these meals and then he stood up. This time I say, that there was some shame, so to say, that they said that we have taken food twice now. Now let us listen what, uh, to him what he says. Then he delivered the khutbah. I think this is one of the most profound and comprehensive khutbahs. What he said, Inna raida la yakzibu ahla. Wallahi, lo kazabtu nasa jamiyan ma kazabtu hum. Walau gharartu nasa jamiyan ma gharartu hum. Raid was used to be a person, you know, when a caravan used to go on journey in the desert, there had to be a person who knew the route and who had the full knowledge where the next, you know, station should be, where there is water also available, where there is also food for the camels also. So, you know, he settled, he told that now that is the next manzil, that is the next, you know, our station. So that Raid had to be the most trustworthy person. Because had he deceived the caravan, the caravan was doomed, lost in the wilderness of the desert. No water, no food, all to be killed. So he used to be the most trustworthy person. The Prophet started from here, in the raida la yaqzi wa ahla. You, you must never have seen any raid that he deceived his tribe. So actually, this simile he used for himself. I am the raid of this kafla of humanity. I am telling you the next place where we are going that that is the akhirah. I am warning you about that. And I cannot deceive you. And now again he said, Now, wallahi, by God, by Allah, I swear by Allah, Now, kazabtu nasa jamiyan, ma kazabtu kum. Even if it was possible for me to tell a lie to the whole of humanity, I would never not have told a lie to you. You are my kith and kin, my own family, my own clan, my own relatives. Can I deceive you? Now he couldn't tell a lie at all. The people knew. But he said, you know, supposedly, even if I could tell a lie to the whole of humanity, I would not have told a lie to you. And even, even if it was possible that I would have deceived the whole of humanity, I would never have deceived you. So this is the beginning, you know. This is the preface of his message. Then his message came. Wallahi la ilaha illahu. I swear by the person, by the Allah, who there is no Allah with him. There is no associate, no sharif, no associate, no equal to him. Wallahi la ilaha illahu. Inni la rasulullah ilaykum khasatan wa ilan nasi kafatan. Verily, I am the messenger of Allah for you specially and for the whole of humanity in general. Because I have been sent for the whole of humanity. 
But you are my first addressees. You are the people to whom, first of all, I have to convey the message. Because I belong to you. I am from amongst you. Wallahi inni la rasulullahi ilaykum khas fatan wa ilan nasi kaf fatan. In one sentence, tawheed. Wallahi ladhi la ilaha illahu. And in another sentence, risala. Inni la rasulullahi ilaykum khas fatan wa ilan nasi kaf fatan. Wallahi la tamutunna kama tanamu. Now these words. I swear by Allah, you'll all die. Just as you sleep, go to sleep every night. Wallahi la tamutunna kama tanamun. Summa la tuba'asunna kama tastaykizun. And then, one day you will be resurrected. You will be raised from the dead. Just as you awake in the, in the morning, every morning. Summa la tuhsabunna bima ta'amalun. Then you know, there will be an accounting of your deeds. You will have to face that grand accountability of all your deeds, whatever you are doing. Summa la tujzabunna bima ta'amalun. Then there will be reward, definitely, surely you will be rewarded of your deeds and acts. Wa innaha la jannatun abada, aw la larun abada. And that reward has to be either jannah, paradise, forever. Or the nar, the fire of hell, forever. So small khutbah and actually the same thing that we find in the Quran here, the same thing the Prophet ﷺ, he conveyed to the people in his khutbah.